up everybody it is september 12th 2022 in big bear lake and we are getting some rain so you guys know what i do this is what i do so i just want to see if we're gonna get a good amount of rain here because it didn't look like we had that much coming but we shall see and that is my wife talking to my stepdaughter okay call me when you're done Sorry, baby. I'm the one who turned on the video in the middle of your conversation. I'm sorry for being so rude like that. It's just, you guys know what I do. As soon as one drop of rain or snow comes out of the sky, I'm like hustling to get everything put together and ready for these darn videos. Wait till you guys see the hotel. You guys aren't gonna be happy with me because it's a 55 minute video. But the hotel video is the, is the shiznit. Um, basically, it's uh, it's on this mountain range. It's in a town called Sky Forest, which is in between Running Springs and, and Lake Arrowhead. And it's uh, it's right on the cliff, 6,000 feet up, literally right on the cliff. So when you guys see these views, you're going to be amazed. And when you guys hear the price, you guys are not going to believe it. Like, it's so inexpensive. I really thought for that room we'd be paying six to 700 per night at least. But that's not the case. I like how they did, did the numbers on the house in that black light color. That's, That's really, really, really pretty. Especially because at night when you're delivering, if you are a night delivery driver, it's super hard to see addresses around here. It really is. You guys, that's when I first moved up here, I, I got to work for my wife's uh, cousin who, who, uh, we won't say the who we won't say the, the company, but I delivered pizzas. <laughs> yeah, and Go it, was, figure. it was, so did I, and it was really hard to find addresses at night. Like really hard. It was hard for me to find them during the day. But anyway, we are in Lower Moon Ridge, you guys. We're, we're going to be heading up towards Bear Mountain, just doing that quick move. And it's good that it's getting heavier in this direction because um, the fires were on the Bear Mountain hill, basically, in between Bear and Snow Summit. So um, positive news about that, you guys, is at noon today, the, the mandatory evacuation was lifted. So people can, can come back. I apologize to each and every single one of you who left me comments. I, 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 I've not been able to respond to anything the past four, four videos. So I must have done something. But I'm not sure what I did. Wow, look at this, guys. Blue sky over there a little bit. We're just getting hammered by this little storm here. Okay, this is by far the most monsoonal weather I have seen up here. This season, it's been as much as all of the other seven seasons combined. This is, this is incredible. So right now we're on Club View, you guys. This is the road you take to Bear Mountain Ski Resort. Or to the 2N10 on this side of town. For those of you who don't know what 2N10 is, it's a different road system that goes behind the mountain range and it's off-roading basically. <laughs> That's why it did it start to do that. Every time I drive by this part right here, I always remember my first and only year that I worked at Bear. It was when I got my first motorcycle. I had to ride to work with snow on the ground on my motorcycle. And everyone thought I was crazy. Crazy. But it was so cool because... Here, I'll just show you guys real quick. So I would pull in right here. And obviously, the parking lot was always full, but I'm on my bike, so I could just go right up here. And I'll show you where I would park and which door I would go into. 
We're out there now, obviously. So I would park my motorcycle right under these stairs right here. And here's the door. I would go into to the kitchen right there. So I'd park right there and, and I'd work at the main barbecue right up there. Because I'm a people person, so they want to be in front of people. This is great, you guys. Look at this weather. Do you like it, babe? It's nice for the dreary old warm sunny weather. The dreary old. Look at all these like FEMA freaking type things. So I wonder who all of these are for. I'll tell you what, I'm glad they have their act together though to make sure that they pump us out. straight ahead. I'm going to teach my wife how to play. She's, she's actually pretty excited about it, so I'm super, super excited. Then she can see how awesome her husband really is, athletically. What you see, babe? I used to almost be able to dunk at 5'7", so... I could touch, touch the rim barely. Now I could probably barely touch the net. such an awesome night you guys will love the video as I said it's 55 minutes long but basically it's just all the, the really beautiful parts of the whole vacation so it, it was basically a video of our journey I turned on the camera basically where highway 18 and, and highway 330 meet at the top of the mountain in Running Springs and we did the video of all those views on the way to Sky Forest and then when we got to Sky Forest we recorded the whole hotel and outside the hotel and then we took a drive to Lake Arrowhead to do a, a, a little video clip of where you guys would be going to get food and stuff like that and to go enjoy yourself. Um, and then at the very end we did a drone video. But yeah, I have video clips of the whole day of all this storminess and lightning and thunder coming through. It was insane, huh man? Unbelievable. And then at nighttime, all the city lights 6,000 feet down. It's unbelievable. Wow, <laughs> oh, this is unbelievable. Baby, it's already cooling up over here. But guys, one thing I don't understand is with all this rain that we got, the lake level keeps on lowering at the same pace it was before we got any rain. So that's that's making me kind of nervous, or maybe the numbers are not totally correct, but if you look at the lake, it's, it still looks lower. Right, baby? Yeah. That's right, you guys. Baby, thank you for that. So, basically, I was reading something that was saying that they are suggesting not to eat the fish out of the lake right now because the water is so so polluted please don't take my word for it guys i could be wrong but that's that's what i was thinking that i read so double check for yourselves but yeah thank you for bringing that up babe because it's really important that we let them know all these things because i don't want you guys coming up here and wasting your time drive all the way up here and then find out you can't eat any of your take that's not cool or get sick when you do eat it. or get sick when you do eat it yeah So this, this is kind of like a, a side street. I think this is called Cougar, right, babe? Mm -hmm. I think it's called Cougar. Yeah, let's see. No, this is Sequoia. It runs parallel to Cougar. video guys I'll get it uploaded right away and then I will upload the hotel video tomorrow then just to give this time video to get to get this video time to get some views and tomorrow as I said we'll upload the other video How are you doing, babe? You okay? Mm -hmm. So we 
just came from over there, guys, where it was super heavy. You can see how dark it is over there. As we head this direction, we're, we're kind of driving out of it a bit. Oh my gosh, I really hope this is a sign of things to come, you guys, when it comes to our snow season. I mean, if we do get a lot more precip, I think it's gonna be warmer from like a tropical type of a feed, which means that most of our storms will be rain for at least the, the majority of the heavy parts of the storm. And then once the cold front comes through on the backside, that's when we'll start getting snow from, from these storms. But as long as we get a lot of precip, I'll be happy. But I would like a three or four foot snowstorm this year. I think that would be great. But anyway, we're gonna go right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the little drive over to Bear. In the meantime, have a wonderful rest of your day and say bye, baby. Bye, baby. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.